Us at the state capitol with senators yelling at each other and members of one party storming out. Chris Hoffman explains why things got so heated and what Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman is saying. This is not debatable. Tempers flared over a Republican drive to end a cash assistance program for about 11,000 poor and disabled Pennsylvanians. They feel the system is suspect to fraud. When Democrats attempted to add amendments to the bill, the first shouting match began. The domestic violence folks we talked about, military veterans who's going to be cut off, individuals who are suffering with President, drug order, abuse Mr. and President. other types of things, their voices won't be heard. At this point, Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman called the Senate to ease. He left the rostrum to make peace between the sides. This is when the lieutenant governor says Republicans took the nuclear option as the Senate president pro tempore, Joe Scarnati, took the rostrum and shut down any possible changes to the bill. I don't believe that, that it was appropriate to invoke the nuclear option so quickly, but at the end of the day, I wanted to maintain civility and decorum through this process. Republicans claimed the lieutenant governor left during a vote which goes against Senate rules. We just don't stop in the middle of wherever we want to, in the middle of the interstate, and say, geez, I think I'm going to get out of the car and clean my windshield now. This is when Democrats left the floor. When they returned, round two of shouting began, during Senator Katie Muth's reading of a statement from someone who uses the program. Mr. President, you have no to follow rules. No income means no way to survive. Step down General from the dance, assistance Mr. President. is the only money I Step have in my deodorant to and toothpaste. Rule. Republican Senate Majority Leader Jake Corman demanding the lieutenant governor follow Senate rules. Your job is to enforce the rules of the Senate, not to be a partisan hack. Ever in my career of the Senate has the presiding officer totally ignored the rules. The rules that we all voted on unanimously. By the end of the day, the lieutenant governor handed over control of running the chamber to Senator Scarnati. It's democracy in action. It's two sides uh, debating an issue, and, and sometimes things get heated. Some things escalate that they didn't need to. The bill ending the assistant program would pass the Senate. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News. Mr. President, please.